Hi, this is a question on Lacerda syndrome um, asked by Sergi. The question was uh, how to diagnose pronator syndrome. We've been talking about Lacerda quite a bit and it can be a little confusing. Um, pronator syndrome and Lacerda syndrome is pretty much the same uh, condition. It's a syndrome of pronation that happens in people who work with their forearms uh, pronated a lot and it's basically an entrapment of the median nerve um, in the proximal to middle third of the forearm or close to the elbow. So pronator syndrome is um, an entrapment of the median nerve between the two heads of the pronator muscle um, and basically it manifests um, by pain or with pain in the medial uh, aspect of the elbow and forearm and weakness in the thumb, um, index finger, and flexor carpi radialis. Um, those are, and of course, there are some elements of pins and needles. Uh, where it gets confusing is that we've been talking about Lacertus a lot, and Lacertus is basically a ligament coming off the biceps tendon and crossing um, the median nerve to uh, reach the medial side of the elbow. In most cases of pronator syndrome or, or syndrome of pronation, the entrapment does not happen between the two heads of the pronator muscle or, or, or more distally. It actually happens under the Lacerda's fibrosis, um, which is that expansion that comes off the biceps tendon. Um, the surgery has been redefined and it is no longer required or advisable to open the forearm all the way from the elbow to the middle of the forearm to treat that condition. And a two centimeters incision in the medial uh, elbow crease under local anesthesia or under volant is all that's required to ac gain access to the median nerve and to the Lacertus. Now from that uh, entry, after releasing the Lacertus fibrosis, you can check uh, to make sure that the, the power to the FPL and FDP and FCR has returned immediately. And if not, then you can, and, and you should probably always, you know, do what's called the pinky test. You introduce your pinky, your small finger, along the path of the median nerve between the two heads of the pronator from that in, through that incision, the small incision in the, in the elbow crease. And then you can feel whether the, whether the nerve has been completely released. And you can go all the way to uh, the arch of the superficial flexors. And you can even have the patient flex their middle finger as you have your, your pinky in there and you can feel if there's any pressure on the median nerve. If you feel there is, um, and you think uh, the sling of, or the arch of the uh, superficialis muscles are causing the compression, you can, do a, you can perform a separate incision here to, um, to release that. But in, after hundreds of cases of Lacerda's release, um, I, I've, I've yet to do it. So again, I think Lacerda's or pronator syndrome are pretty much the same condition but our knowledge and our understanding of it has evolved to the point that um, we know that in the very vast majority of cases, the compression of the median nerve happens under the Lacertus and not between the, flex, uh, between the uh, two heads of the uh, pronator teres. So when it comes to diagnosing it, um, it was looking for, the, for weakness and the hidden palsy in the thumb, index finger, and flexor carpi radialis, looking for clues that the patient will tell you uh, they have pain in the forearm. Sometimes it radiate proximately, radiates proximately all the way to the neck or the shoulder. Um, they complain of being clumsy, losing power, and they do have some numbness in pins and needles, but those um, tingling sensations happen during the day more than they happen during the night, the night, conversely to what happens during carpal tunnel syndrome. When you examine, obviously, you test for the power, you look for a positive scratch collapse test or sensory uh, collapse test in, in, in this area right here over the course of the median nerve under the Lacertus. And um, compression of the nerve in this area is gonna be painful. It's, uh, it's actually very easy to diagnose if you, if you know what you're looking for.
So I hope that this answered your question, Sergi.